Hey everyone, this is Amanda from So Sweet Creations, and today we're going to be making bows. We're going to be focusing on this one, but I wanted to show you a few other options. There are these giant bows that are the size of my hand. They are huge. You can also get your hands on, you can make a little one. You could make a little rainbow unicorn sparkly one. You could make a candy bow. Or you can make one of these cute little homemade bows like this. This one's made with rainbow scratch paper. You can find it at the dollar store. And it's cut with my Cricut. Now my daughter did this one a couple years ago. And I've held on to it because I love this one so much. Little pom-poms, you know, little sparkles. She's got a little centerpiece. And of course, she covered this alligator clip all by herself. Fantastic job. Awesome. First, we're going to start with the basics. You're going to want your ribbon. This ribbon here is two and a half inches wide by 20 inches long. We are going to be making this one. You're going to want some sort of string and you're going to want to make sure that you have a clip you could get a flat clip or an alligator clip whatever your preference may be you may also want to burn the edges so that they do not fray this one here has already been pre-burned so we will not be, need to be doing that. Now let's get started. I'm going to want to fold this in half and you're gonna to wanna to pinch it. Pinch, pinch. At that crease, you're going to place one end here and one end here. This forms a crazy eight. We're going to take one end of the crazy eight and put it on top of that part. Make sure you don't let go. And then we're going to put the other end on top as well. Let's do that again. There we go. Now that we've got the basic shape, we're going to take our string. And we're going to wrap it around right here all the way around a few times. After you think that you're good, I think that's fine. We're going to want to pull on it. After you're done pulling on it, Keep it, try to keep it tight. You're going to tie it. I'm going to do one more. you're done tying it, I'm going to cut off the excess. Excess. There. There. Now you've made the basic shape of your bow. And you pull on it and fiddle with it a bit just to get the size and shape that you want. After you're done with it, now you can do the clip. You can keep the clip plain, or you can cover it. I'm going to cover it. Again, you're going to want to burn the edges. And you're gonna to want to use your glue for this part. You're gonna glue the bottom, 
put your ribbon over. And you're going to glue the top here. Ribbon over. Now you're going to want to pinch it. Then I cut it first. The scissors are not very sharp. There. Pinch. Glue. Put a little bit too much glue. But you just keep pinching it, and there we go. Covered clip. I'm going to do a black center, but I'm going to make it flat. If you would like a center, if you would like a knotted center, you're going to want to fold it around like this, push it through, and then pull on the ends. This gives you a nice little knot that you can put if you would like. I myself, I'm going to go with flat. I'm going to take your bow, put it in the center. Now it's your choice if you want to seal the back. You do not have to. I'm going to seal only one end. I'm going to cut it for an even line. And I'm going to seal it. I'm going to Glue my clip to the back. I want it this way. There we go. Then we're going to pinch the clip, glue the clip. It's a little bit too much glue again. And we're going to slide that over. It's not the prettiest job I've done, but it does what it needs to do. If you want, you can trim off any excess like I just did. I'll give it one more little quick burn. All right. Let's decorate it. You can decorate this with whatever you want. It's honestly it can be turned into anything. You can use little sparkly gems. You can use little red hearts or snowflakes. You can use fabric paint. I have glow in the dark, iridescent, and matte. You can also use any number of things that you find around the house. This is a bag full of buttons and bobs that I've collected over the years. We have some flowers, some stars, there's some snowflakes, even, look, there's a pig's head. <laughs> or you can do pom-poms. I also have candy. So I've got candy confetti. These are made out of polymer clay. And these are polymer clay sprinkles. I will not be using any of those today. Today I'm going to put one nice sparkly piece in the center. And I think I really liked that little pig. 
I think I'm going to add a pig. Why not? A little pig. It's cute. You're going to want to glue it. Again, safety with glue. There we go. Then I'm going to glue this cute little thing up here. Because piggies are adorable. Like, like. And I'm all done. I made a cute little piggy bow. <laughs> but you can do them however you want. My favorites are the candy ones. Because I've got a sweet tooth. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a cute little bow. And you have a fantastic day. Bye.